Hello everyone, I got some exciting news to share with you guys, also to show you. So recently, Apostle David E. Taylor, he got a campus um, in Houston, Texas. It is called Campus for the Harvest. And it is so amazing because so many students from around the world um, can come and do ministry for free. Apostle is, you know, paying for the, the room and board. It's like a university. You know, you go to a Christian college, but you know, you got to pay and you know for tuition and everything this literally is a campus where you can come free of charge to learn to be discipled to be trained by apostle david e taylor and so what i wanted to show you guys was the campus we just got it i wanted to show you guys my my room i wanted to show you guys the campus it is i mean this is history making and i wanted to show you guys because this is something that god has told apostle to do to train people to go out and win the heart all right, so this is my room. I'm going to give you guys a tour. I thank God for Apostle. Nobody else is doing this in this generation. So this is the bathroom. Everything is so pristine. I mean, it's beautiful. It's like a, a brand new facility. There's the fridge. You got a microwave. You got a sitting area. I mean, it's just like... I am living the dream, and you too can be a part of this. You can be a part to be trained by Apostle David E. Taylor. It is an opportunity of a lifetime. You see, there's a desk. I mean, you got everything. It's amazing. You got drawers, put your clothes there, a bench to sit in. It's just so, you know, special to be a part of something like this. And then here's the, the beds. It's tremendous. In a beautiful view, the sun is going down. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. I thank God for Apostle for his sacrifice to even get here, to get this hotel, uh, this campus. It's just amazing. You see, got all them books here. Apostle teaches us to study, to, to read. It's just amazing. This is this is so special. So you guys, this is this is my room. So when we're done working, you know, come in the room, relax. You can you know, watch TV, you can, you know, just, there's so many amenities here in the hotel. Um, there's a workout room, there's a pool. So call one eight seven seven the glory You can be a part, you can be trained by Apostle David E. Taylor. Just want to give you guys a, a good view here. And that's, this right here, this, this is my uh, sauna. This is a portable sauna <laughs> I put in the room. So if you have things like that, listen, you can put your room how you, how you like it. It's amazing. So you guys call to be a part. One more thing I wanted to share with you guys, kind of like uh, the behind the scenes um, of how this all came about, you know, how Apostle got the camps for the harvest. Um, it's been through a lot of uh, persecution. It's been through a lot of warfare. It's been through a lot of battles, you know, because there's so many people that uh, speak evil against Apostle. There's so many people that persecute Apostle. But, you know, like the Bible says that they, you know, you'll be persecuted persecuted for Christ's namesake. So, you know, we see that, you know, Apostle's ministry, his life is all directly linked, you know, with the Bible. And it's just amazing to see, you know, the scriptures come alive, even in that sense, because the ministry is always attacked. But like the word says, the greater that they were afflicted, the greater they grew. And here we are, we grew bigger. We're in the hotel now. So it's just, you know, an amazing testimony. But I wanted to share with you guys kind of um, what took place. And it's been a journey. You know, um, a lot of persecution that Apostle Taylor has went through, um, God has always given him the victory. Just like, I mean, we have the hotel, we have the victory, so we're, we're growing. Um, but just to share, you know, it's crazy. You know, there was a um, Caucasian uh, man who came against Apostle and spread all of these lies about him and really got into a lot of um, government officials and different cities that we would go to, like say if the staff was like um, lodging somewhere or maybe we would uh, go to another city and have a facility or, you know, doing something for the ministry, right? Or even just our housing. So because of not only just one Caucasian man, but a few, there's been... I shouldn't say a few, there's been a lot of people, especially the Caucasian culture that has come against Apostle and have been racist um, against Apostle. I've seen it myself. Obviously, I'm Caucasian and I see 
I see, you know, this happening, and I'm like, oh my goodness, like, how can somebody hate somebody that bad? But it shows you how strong that racism is and how the devil gets in people um, to try to turn them away from God, because what apostles bring is the gospel. He is bringing Jesus, you know, face to face. But, you know, we've seen it just like, um, of, of course, they're spreading evil um, about apostles, saying all of this type of stuff. But just one thing that I know, like, I, I'm here, I've seen it. It is crazy. Like, the warfare is crazy. So, basically, these people, they will literally, because of their racism, because of their hate, because of that evil, they they will get in uh, the city officials and pay them and make phone calls, like, just to um, mess with us, you know, just to try to run us out of the city or... Um, you know, they'll follow us. Like we would literally be just driving home, you know, from the call center. And there would literally be people follow, like follow us all the way home. And it took like 40 minutes, you know, at that time um, to get home. And they would literally follow us all the way. You know, you could tell they was up to something. It wasn't like, oh, I think someone's following me. And like, it would be like every other night they would follow us home. And, and, and one time I remember I was driving and they tried to veer us off the road, like try to when we was on the highway. It's just crazy. And so, you know, just things like that have happened. You know, it's been a journey, but, you know, we know with God, we always have the victory and God is with apostles. So, you know, they can't stop it. But it's even been like, it's been crazy. We've been like, a, say we move into like a, a city and we move into a house, right? They will literally follow us from state to state. They will follow us everywhere and we'll get in a place, right? And we will be there for like a month, okay? And then we start getting, you know, the police and, and all these people, these the neighbors, they're called, they will go, it's crazy. They will call the neighbors to try to mess with them. They will call people that live, you know, near um, the house, wherever we're at. So we will get in it. Imagine this, we get in a house, right? We're doing God's will, busy with God's business, business right? We'll unpack all of our stuff, you know, all of that, right? Then like within a month, they'll be kicking us out and we'll go somewhere else like we've literally been at like seven or eight just recently uh locations where they corruptly get in um and run us out you know and and basically like we we have to move so it's like we could get settled right then we gotta move and then we get settled then we gotta move like i'm not gonna lie it's exciting but it just it shows how evil um, these people are just trying to you know they stalk us they stalk apostle they watch everything he's doing like they watch every live that Apostle does. Like, they know about what Apostle's doing. They know where the staff's at. It's like crazy what they do. And so, for us to have this victory, it's like there, we can't be stopped. And you know, it's because God is working with Apostle. You know, and what God is doing here is real. And you know, so I just I wanted to share the behind the scenes story. You know, it has been a, a battle. They have come against Apostle. I mean, said the most terrible things when he's doing the will of God. Like he's literally here training us well he's you know he's in shadowing but he's training us like i have never been able to really do that of course we all pray for people but apostle really taught us to you know lay hands on the sick and see them heal he's teaching us how to walk in miracles and we've seen it like apostle will send us into different cities we'll be praying for people and we'll be like oh my god like people will be healed out of their wheelchair like literally on the street back braces on, on their body healed right in the grocery store walking in the power of god people that are blind are beginning to see it, it's just amazing the things just like it happened in the bible when jesus sent out the, the apostles when he sent out his disciples they walked in power they turned cities upside down and honestly that's that's what apostle is training us to do you know he's training us in the prophetic to be able to get a word of knowledge or to be able to see something before time you know just like jesus trained his apostles to walk in power apostles teaching us to walk in power i mean it's been amazing so i know even the people that come here when you begin to be trained by apostle you will walk in the power of god and it's like oh my goodness like what God has placed on his life is so special. Like you will be changed. You will be transformed. You will walk in power. There is a power. When you come under apostle, there is a power that's activated. You come under an open heaven. Every gift you've ever had, it maximizes. I'm telling you, like, I've been able to see so many things. And it's because of the price apostle has paid. Where we will literally just go and, you know, pray for someone. And they will be healed right on the spot. I mean, it's just amazing because 
you know, Apostle has paid the price with the Lord to do this. So for all of you, you know, who are wondering about the hotel, wondering what's going on here, I hope, you know, this answers some questions, you know, just to kind of really say what's happening. Like, people can say all of this stuff from the outside, but... You know, if you're not in somewhere like the inside, you, I mean, you don't know some of the persecution. I just shared, you know, some of the things that have happened, um, but there's so much more that, you know, they have done. But, you know, we, we give God glory because we're growing. Amen. Apostle is abounding. Things are thriving, you know, and I just thank God for Apostle, for his uh, ministry, for his, uh, just the, the years that he has paid the price with God to get here today. So I just, I wanted to share that I wanted to give you guys like a little background you know you see all of this but just wanted to you know share that with you guys as well so call the ministry get connected